hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to create the video grid transition effect in premiere pro as you can see over here i've imported four clips onto my sequence over here now the next thing you need to do is to set them to overlap at 10 seconds from the end of the first clip so to measure 10 seconds i'm going to move this clip to the beginning of my timeline over here and i'm going to come over to this position here and set 10 seconds and now I know that this position here is 10 seconds where my playhead is. So I'm going to reduce the size of this video to 10 seconds and move it to overlap at the end of this first clip over here. I'm going to move my next clip over it and reduce the scale to 10 seconds. Let me move this up. Now I'm going to drag these two up and set this other one also to overlap at 10 seconds. Next thing I'm going to do is to select my razor tool over here and make a cut at this position and make another cut at this position over here. And move back and select my selection to here or you can type the letter v next i'm going to drag this video down and next i'm going to select all these clips over here right click and nest them next i'm going to select all these nested clips over here right click and next them once more and now I'm going to double click on this nested clip over here and select all this nested clip and move over to the effects control and drag the transform effect onto this nested clip. Now I'm going to select each of this nested clip and move over to my effects control panel. Select each of this nested clip and reduce the scale from 100 to 50% under the transform effect. And change the position value to these figures for full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution. So I'm going to set the top left to 480 by 270, the top right to 1440 by 270, the bottom right to 1440 by 810, the bottom left by 480 by 830. But if you shot at 4K, you can just double the resolution. For example, your bottom left will now be 960 by 1620. So for the bottom right, I'm setting it at 1440 by 270, and I also reduce the scale to 50. Select the third clip. And under the transform effect, I'll change the scale to 50% and change the position to 480 by 810. Select the last clip, reduce the scale to 50, and change the position value to 1440 by 810. Alright, guys, if I scroll past this now, you can see what we have created over here. Now, select here to move back to our previous sequence and select our nested clip over here and add the transform effect to it. Now move over to the effects control panel and place your playhead over your nested sequence over here and move your playhead to the middle and at this position you want to set keyframes to position and scale. Now change the value of scale to 200 and move it to the left and select this diamond icon to add another keyframe at 200 and move it to the extreme right. Now select this diamond icon once more over here to create another keyframe but reduce the scale to 100 and move it few frames to the left and select this diamond icon once more and set the keyframes to 100 and set it few frames to the right. Now move the position value at the top here to align with the first keyframe for scale at the center over here and select this diamond icon once more. Let me zoom this in so you can see it clearer. And select this diamond icon here once more to add another keyframe for position over here and move it to align with the second scale value at the middle over here. Now move your playhead close to the start of the clip. It's important that you notice the first clip we have here is this clip of him unfolding her scarf and the last clip we have here is this clip of this building over here. So you move back to your next sequence over here and move somewhere close to the start of this clip and manually align the position value to align with this clip of him unfolding her scarf. But to do this, you need to move the playhead to the start of the clip and move the value of position until you have perfectly aligned it to match the frame of the first clip and move over to the last keyframe here. You can do this by hitting this right arrow over here to move to the last frame of this clip and manually set the last keyframe to align with the last video clip over here. And if I scroll back now and hit play, you can see what we have created over here. Alright guys, that looks nice. But let's say you want to add some grid lines in between these clips. 
All you need to do is to double click and move over to this nested sequence over here and select all and move them one track above. Next come over to this new item icon over here and select it and select new color mate and choose a color you like. I'm just going to go with blue and hit OK and drag this over here. Now what I'm going to do is to select each of these clip and change the scale to 49%. Maybe I'm going to change this to white or black. And that's it guys on how to create this video grid zoom transition effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.